Y'all has prepared me to be a leader in so many ways. Um, I'm involved in different organizations here on campus. I'm president of the Student Athletic Advisory Committee. I'm a peer mentor. Um, I miss Shaw University. Um, I try my best to you know, reach out to the young women here at Shaw, and it really made me a better person, and it really got me prepared. St. Aug is basically like my roots. I'm proud to be the first Mr. St. Augustine University, and I actually really do love my HBCU. So I am here uh, for a ride. Uh, all of my expenses are actually paid for, and I actually attend school and, and graduate in May with a bachelor's in science. Shaw actually provides uh, the mentorship I needed at the time. I didn't really have a lot of uh, guidance in college and life after college, so as soon as I got here, I, I connected with individuals that showed that they really cared and they, um, they, they invested their time into me. And I would say getting an internship at uh, NASA, that was a huge, huge thing for me. In high school I wasn't really the person that was sciencey or dedicated to my academics, but as soon as I came to Shaw I was. There's networking opportunities, there's social opportunities, community opportunities, and it's just it's kind of like a big family. So it's special to me in that way. So St. Augustine's University gave me certain opportunities that other colleges did not. Uh, they have this program called the Summer Bridge Program where it's for high school students uh, where if you didn't apply yourself in the actual high school setting, St. Aug gave you a second chance. So we took college courses just to see if we qualified to be a freshman student. So I maintained a 3.7 from there up until my senior year today, so I'm very happy for that. Shaw has definitely has came into my life and actually helped me become a better person, a better leader, and that's what our model is, is to become global leaders. And I feel like I have wonderful opportunities. I have traveled, I have gone to DC to White House, and I have met so many different people that's wants to help me out in my dreams. Uh, but we've done real well here. Uh, we've had a lot of good academic students. We've graduated 95% of our student athletes. Uh, we've had uh, 39 Olympians. We've won 37 NCAA uh, track and field national championship, 160 something conference championship. So we, we've done real well and uh, I love the people that are supporting us and I hope they continue to support us because the fact that if it wasn't for the HBCU schools, you wouldn't have a coach uh, of 2004 head Olympic coach that won 19 medals. HBCUs are so important because they are going to teach me my history, where I come from, and, and teach me my values. And that's not, you're not going to get that from a lot of universities. You're not going to sit there and be open about talking about topics that are very, you know, I guess controversial. So HBCUs is so important because we get time to express how we feel about our culture. The significance of HBCUs is because we actually learn, you know, our culture and what's not taught at other institutions. And that's what I love about my institution because some things that I didn't know, I know now, and it's nothing like an HBCU. We're such a family and we're close and we take care of each other. I want Shaw University to be a major global competitor. You know, when I think of Future Shaw, I think of it as an institution that students from all over the world will desire to come. Uh, right now, we are working on our strategy and the cornerstones of which are technology, entrepreneurship, and sustainability. We're moving out there and we're saying we want to be better than we're currently now. Um, we want to be able to compete on a global scale uh, with institutions that are much larger than us. From its very inception in 1867, St. Augustine's has had the mission to produce the best and the brightest young people for service and uh, as educators. Uh, when we first started in 1867, as an affiliate of the Episcopal Church, our mission was to educate a new generation of uh, Episcopal priests and educators. St. Augustine's has produced some of the best scientists, educators, medical doctors, attorneys, uh, people who are committed to higher education and who are committed to public service. 